Yo, uh, first time talking to a camera. Feels a bit odd, but yeah, we are here to do an NBA team list on the top players going into the next season. I know it's a bit late, but let's get to it. These are uh, a list of only the starters, not the uh, bench players and role players. So yeah. First up, well, we got DeJounte Murray. Um, it's a tough one. I've never really liked this game that much because I thought the only reason he was good was because he was on the Spurs. I didn't really think he deserved to be on the All Star team last year. Um, I'm gonna put my fringe All Star. Uh, yeah. Next is John Collins. Uh, I got John Collins as a good starter. I don't think he's also a kick over yet. And then we got Trey Young player who's definitely an all NBA player. Jalen Brown, I, I'm a huge fan of Jalen Brown. Like I like Jalen Brown over Jason Tatum, but I'm not taking him. I mean, I'm not taking him over. But I definitely do like his game better. When it comes to who's the better player between the two of them, I think it is Jason Tatum as of now. But Jalen Brown is definitely heavily underrated. And I put him Somewhere, I think this year he can be an all NBA player, but for now, I'm going to all star. Uh, Tatum is definitely an all NBA player. I, I don't think he's an MVP caliber. I think he's going to be this year. Considering how the Celtics lost their head coach, I definitely think he can make a run for the MVP. Uh, next, we got Marcus Smart. I think he's a good starter.
a six man tier candidate, but I don't see him getting into the all star tier just yet. Luca, I think, the caliber for sure. Uh, he doesn't even have runs in this year, so he's going to be having a lot to prove. He's going to be uh, looking to expand on the deep playoff from last year. So, yeah, I'm going to put him in the caliber to get to Jamal Murray. Jamal Murray is a French all star. He is injured right now, but I've, I've always, especially after the bubble, I really expected him to play like to that level, but he never did. Got injured midway through the season, and I, I just feel like he will always be in the French All Star category, like an almost an All Star, but never really cracking in any All Star team. I'm gonna put him there for a while. Uh, MPJ is also a French All Star. I think both of them are very similar, but I think MPJ definitely has more uh, potential. Um, we have Jokic, Jokic's MVP caliber, definitely, definitely MVP caliber. We have Kay Cunningham. I'm not gonna lie, but I, when I saw K, uh, I saw the ESPN rankings, and Kay was like this 35th on them, and then I was like, what? He's not that good. He was, was he a candidate for rookie of the year? Scotty Barnes and Mookie as a bail. It was paid, I don't know. And he was ranked above all the uh, other uh, rookies from last year. I, I don't know. I just thought it was weird. I think he's, for now, he's a good starter. I don't believe he's a good job so this year. He's, he's okay. He can be very good, but I don't think he's there just yet. Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole. Two All-Star, might be an All-Star this year, but I'm going to put him at the French All-Star category for now. Uh, I think Marcus Moore is going to be down. What is he going to be down? Okay. Wiggins. Wiggins also is in this category. French All-Star category. Uh, we got Draymond. Draymond is in the All-Star category. Uh, because of his events, he's heavily underrated. I honestly had the whole incident with Jordan Poole, but I still think he is very valuable. He showed his worth in the uh, recent Nuggets game. And yeah, I, I think he's going to be an all-star this season. Clay Thompson, uh, I'm so sorry, but you're going to fall on the good starter. Uh, tier list for now. Uh, now he's a French all-star. It's just. He's coming off an injury, and I don't know. I think he can be better this season, get back to his all star caliber, but uh, I don't know. He's gonna have a lot to prove. What the fuck? He's gonna be having a lot to prove, definitely. Uh, Steph Curry, Steph Curry is definitely all NBA. Do I think he'll be going uh, for the MVP? Steph Curry is my favorite player, but no bias aside. I don't think he's going to be competing for the be because there are going to be other guys who want it more. Uh, Jokic, obviously he's back to the MVP. He's looking like the MVP uh, this season too, so far, based on his production. But uh, yeah, and Luka and Tatum, they got a chance to be there too. I don't know who this is. Is this uh, Jalen Green, is it? Jalen Green? Uh, Jalen Green is... He's a no, I didn't make another tier. Okay. This is going on. I'm gonna put the K on there. I don't know how you still have some K on there. Um who else? That's it. Oh Tyrese, Tyrese Albert in terms of uh to be on the upright Tyrese can be in between this. Maybe this season, maybe next season. But for now he's on the rising stars list. Because we have John Wall. John Wall is definitely a fringe all-star. For now, he's a very good NBA player. But he's coming off the bench. He's going to be a... Uh, he has been very good over the past uh, three games. You know, maybe he can make it back to the all-star team. I don't know. But it's just the, the con like Western Conference especially is so packed. Uh, I don't think he can make it. 
we got Kawhi. Kawhi is a All NBA player, maybe an MVP. Okay. So we have Paul George. Paul George is an All Star, an All NBA player, an All Star. Kevin Durant. I know. I'm putting him in. I'm the not quite a superstar player. He's definitely above all these players. So. We have AD. AD is on the way. When I saw him on the opening night, the first quarter, especially for his defense was off the charts. Like he was all over the place getting every steal. And I was just like, damn, he's back. Back, back, and ready to prove a point. And he over the last three games, he took so many hits. The Lakers just need to add a few more uh, wing defenders. No, I'm sorry, not wing defenders. Wing players who can like hit the three. Because right now, as everybody knows, their three-point team is trash. Uh, LeBron is an all in the tier for sure. Westbrook. Westbrook is a tough one. I'm gonna put him in the French All Star category. It's just you know he 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 makes some dumb decisions like, sometimes, but he's still definitely. All-star, an off-range all-star at least. Yeah, I don't think he will make the team, the all-star team, but he is quite good. Because we have Ja Morant. Ja is an MVP caliber player in the season. The reason why I say that is because last year, he should, he should have been a contender for last year. But the thing is, his team was, the business depth is what allowed them to go that far in the playoffs last year. Uh, and that series they needed as a BB team, you know, they went 20 and 2 I think without them. And because of that that series they hurt. This year they got they lost a bit of depth. They got rid of DeAndre Hunter, which I, I thought it was very stupid. You know, DeAndre Hunter is, is actually a very good 3 and D player. And it's, they acquired Danny Green. Uh, I feel like he really gets a veteran championship experience but I don't know why I feel like that was free to do. Um, I don't know maybe he, he, he can put up some big numbers. He already had a near 50 point game he had 49 points this Rockets. So, yeah. so we have Jerry Jackson. Jerry Jackson is a young rising star so I don't like him very much if I'm being honest but uh, he's a pretty in that category. We have Bam and Bio. He's in the, uh, he's in between these two. The fringe all-star and the all-star categories. Honestly, if I have three more, I'm going to put it on the bio. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler is not quite a superstar, but he's getting there. Kyle Lowry. He's kind of falling under the sun because, you know, he, he's out of his prime. This year, has he been playing this year? I don't know. I, I didn't follow much of Miami games. I only saw like one other Tyler Hero, but uh, he's a good starter for now. Maybe he can work his way up to move for the All Star or an All Star. For now, he is a really good starter. We have Tyler Hero, he's in the Young Rising Stars. No, honestly, no, he's, he's in the Fringe All Star. I think this year, with him starting and getting that extension, should uh, fuel him enough to so, go get that monster. Uh, yeah, right. So yeah, next we have Bobby Portis. I believe Bobby Portis is a good starter, he's a good role player. Uh, Giannis, it's the cool thing. He is MVP caliber. Giannis is going to be in the MVP talks for at least another 3 to 4 years, I believe. Because he is playing at an insane level right now. The Milwaukee are considered the championship favorites by a great lot of people. So, yeah. I think he's an MVP. Chris Middleton is a fringe all-star for now. He's coming off of injury, but he's definitely a very good player. Uh, we have Drew. Drew Holiday is an all-star definitely uh, next we have Anthony Edwards Anthony Edwards is a fringe all-star for now he is 
combined series is a fringe all star slash good starter. I'm gonna put him here. Yeah. Tyrese Maxi. Fringe all star. He's a very good player. I believe he can take a step. Now he is. Right now he's over here. But I believe within this season, he's gonna be here. So I'm gonna put him here. Uh, this is Chris Paul. I'm sorry to do it Chris Paul, but he's over here. Um, maybe it's a bit of bias because I don't like Chris Paul, but I'm gonna put him here for now. I don't know. Even the first game of the season, he was benched for Damian Lee. Like, he, he, he's old. And I think. That's as good as it's ever gonna be. So no, a foul, but don't count them out just yet. I think it's time to count them out. Uh, I'm gonna find him the pitch also. Hey, he might be the also team. Yeah. Tiara King. He's a good sword. I don't think much of him. He's a he's a eye. He's a very eye player. But that's it. Uh, Devil Booker. I'm gonna put him in the not quite a superstar. I'm gonna put him in the not quite a superstar category. Uh, next one we have this is Anthony Simons. He's in the young stars. Now he secured the bag with that four years, 80 mil contract. Uh, he's, he's a good player. He's a good player. Uh, next we have Dane Dalla. Dane Dalla is. We haven't put anybody in the downright bad category yet. That's what's wrong. Dear Fox. Dear Fox is over here for Jogstar. Devonta Sabonis. I don't like this game. I was very confused when he became an All Star. I was like, why are you making this to an All Star? Like, the only reason he played well was because he was on the Pacers. Starter for now because uh, this was uh, this was the issue when they traded him to the Kings. I was like, okay, you can finally show me what you got. Okay. Show me that whatever success you had it was not because you were in Indiana. So along with Aaron Fox, you got shine. Maybe take him to a plane spot, but no, that wasn't the case last year. They continue to suck. The match of Sabonis I believe was very, very, very good. So I'm gonna put him in the alright size for mid category. Uh, who is this? Who is this? Uh, Scotty Barnes? No, this is Scotty Barnes. I don't know who this is. Is this uh, somebody else? Who is this is Calvin Johnson. Calvin Johnson? Yeah, he's a good starter. Uh, that's all I think of. They gave him an extension, but I don't. I didn't believe him to be sort of that extension. He's he's a very very okay player. He's incredibly. Generous giving him the good starter spot. Yeah. Fred Van Lee, he is a uh, French all star. Siakam. Siakam has been playing very good this season. I'm gonna put him in the all star category. He flopped over the, the last the two seasons ago. He did flop, you know, came coming off the championship. I believe that okay, Kawhi is gone. This is gonna be our next big thing. This year though, started off very strong, I believe he can be an all-star, like a certified all-star. So we have Scotty Barnes. Scotty Barnes. He's a good player. I'm gonna put him in the all-stars for now. I don't think he's at the first all-star. Just yet, you know his shooting needs a bit of work. Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell is an all-star. Donovan Mitchell is an all-star, Bradley Beal, okay, this is... I said it, Bradley Beal fell off, he didn't fall off actually, um, I think he's overrated, I don't think he deserves to be an all-star or deserves to be in the top 20 NBA players, just because of the fact that he, I believe the only reason getting all these points. I mean, certainly skill plays a factor in it, but he plays with the Wizards. 
there's nobody else but him on that team to score. It's saying Kuzma or Porzingis, but this guy is the one true uh, guard on that team. And as a result, you know, he's had a lot of high scoring performances, a lot of very good stat sheets, stuffer games, but uh, he's going to have to go to another team to prove his worth. Because right now, when you're on the Wizards, that's, this is all you're ever going to You're going to be a fringe all star. Not, not at this tier, obviously, we can be over here for Fred Dawson, but even that's a bit generous considering the other players on this. Uh, Chrisaps for Zingis is a good starter. Uh, honestly, when is it when is it going to be time to stop believing in Porzingis? Like, people still think, oh my god, he has the potential, he has the uh, skills to do it, but this has been like this is what what amount of years since he left to the Knicks? I don't know. I think this is as good as he's ever going to be. I don't think there's anyone now on the pink. So good starter. Clint Capella is a good starter. Uh, is this, uh, this is a uh, this is another hunter, right? This is DeAndre Hunter, right? I don't know. I think it's DeAndre Hunter. He's a good starter. Marco Brogdon. So also this the order of this does not depend on like this player is better than this player, not my bad, it's just a point of order. Jonas Adam Schulis, he's a he's a good starter. He can put up 30 points occasionally when he's consistent. Kale Bridges is a good starter. Uh, this is Jeremy Grant. Jeremy Grant is it? Okay, uh Jeremy Grant. Seth Curry is a good starter. Who is this? Is this? Who is this? Terry Rozier? I think there's some kind of a good starter in this. Uh, RG Barrett. Seth, I'm sorry, but yeah, that's the way he's gotta go, man.